Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Islam and today is a special day because I will teach you how to sneeze in Arabic. I know that you can sneeze in your own language, probably it's easier to do it in English, but uh, now we're going to be talking about how to sneeze in Arabic, you know, because it, in, in Arabic it's really complicated. So if you want to sneeze, you have to know how to do it, otherwise you're going to be embarrassing yourself. So, it's not like in English. In English, you sneeze, um, somebody say, God bless you, you say, thank you, it's over. It's not like this in Arabic, no. It's much more complicated. So, let me walk you through the process of uh, sneezing in, in Arabic, okay? I'm trying to make this easier for you. So, um, in that situation, we have two parties, okay? Now, this is the sneezer. And this is the sneezy. So the sneezer is someone who sneezes, and the sneezy is someone who's around. So in that, in, that, in that place, okay? So you, let's assume that you are going to be uh, the sneezer, and I'll be the sneezy. Okay, so when you sneeze, right after you sneeze and finish sneezing, what do you say? In Arabic, you say, Alhamdulillah. You say, after you sneeze, in English you, you, don't, you say nothing, in Arabic you say, Alhamdulillah. Let me write this to you here in Arabic. Let me pick another color. So here, yes. Alhamdulillah. You sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah. This is number one. First step. You sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah. Do it now. Yes. Good. So you sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah. Okay? Now you as a sneezer, job done. Good. So now it's my part to participate in the process. Okay? So as a, the sneezy or someone who's attending that process or in that situation, I have to say this. Ya Alhamdulillah Allah. In Arabic, it's Yarhamkum Allah. Yarhamkum Allah. Right? Which means God have mercy on you in English. So, hey, first here, number one, you sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah, which means thank God. And then here, then I, I heard this, I was there, I can't, I can't ignore it, so I said Yarhamkum Allah. And then my job is done right now. But now it's, it's back to you. Okay? So how do you finish the process? How do you finish it? Uh, yeah, you got to be careful and uh, very careful about this. Okay? How do you finish it? The third step goes back to you. So you started. I responded. And then it goes back to you. You say this to me. Yahdikum Allah. Yahdikum. Let me write it here. Yahdikum Allah. Now, this is not all of it. What? Which means and. Yuslih balakum. I will write it here. What? Yuslih. Yuslih balakum. Balakum. Okay? So, when, when you said Yahdikum Allah, it means God guide you. And the wa, which means and, yuslih balakum. So he said, Yadikum Allah, God guide you. Wa, uh, yuslih balakum. And God give you a peace of mind, okay? This is how it should be done in, 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 in Arabic, okay? It's, it's really serious. I mean, if you are in that situation, you have to do it in this order. It has to be this. You sneeze, say Alhamdulillah. I hear you, I say Alhamdulillah. You hear me, you say Yahdikum Allah wa Yuslih Balakum. Okay? Now I want you to try to do this now. You sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah, okay? Oh. Yalhamkum Allah. And then you say this to me. Oh, great. So, Alhamdulillah, Yalhamkum Allah. It has to be done in this way, in this order, if you're sneezing in 
Arabic. When I was teaching this to my students in, in Arabic class, uh, they came up with uh, three other options instead of uh, sneezing in Arabic, but those options are only for uh, those lazy students who don't want to go through the process. Number one is just don't. Just don't sneeze, forget about this. And number two, other students says, yeah, you can sneeze in English. I mean, you can always sneeze in English, but not if you are in an Arabic class. You have to do it in, in Arabic. And then the third one is, you sneeze when no one is around. So, you are happier then. So you sneeze, you say nothing, or you just say the first part of it, which is the easiest. And then there's no one here around to bother you with the response, and then you get um, you have to reply to them. So, I mean, it's up to you. But if you wanted to do this in Arabic, so you do one, two, three. If no, then you can also do one, two, three. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next lesson.